Welcome everybody to another epic, insane, exciting uh, Dart Zone Tomcat review. By the way, if you guys don't have your notifications set for any of my live streams and videos, set them right now, set the notifications, make sure you subscribe as well, click like right now, and let's get into this review. I really, really want to see this blaster in person, so it's about to go down. Let's get it unboxed right here, dude. Check this thing out. Let's move the instructions. Boom, there is your box. Here we have the 50 round super drum. Take that out. Front tactical sight right here. We have a rear tactical sight, one or the other. Take those out. Then we have the uh, stock. Pull that off. Uh, we also get a little bit of a muzzle action over here. Take that out. The main blaster body right over here. Let's take this out. Ugh. Okay, put that to the side. And then obviously, as you can tell, we have our half darts which are the max accurate half length darts and then we have the safety goggles on this side that's all that this box has all right dudes now that we got everything unboxed let's put it all together a bit by bit and see what it, this thing looks like and how it feels and how it overall performs we're gonna test that all out outside so anyways let's start assembling this thing put in our little stock over here slide that in okay fits pretty good let's put in the muzzle at the front how do we do that right there all right Coming together, iron sights, well iron sights, these are just sights, this is the rear sight, slide that on, not bad, and the front sight, okay, pretty cool, not bad so far. Now the main selling feature of this blaster is this 50 round super max drum. The way you load up your darts is just you slide them in like that into the drum. Each chamber has space for two darts, so you pop in two, just like that. Let's do another one so you guys can see, like that. Put in another one so two per chamber okay right there okay all right so the way this drum is loaded up is you um obviously if you take a look where you see this little orange piece that piece is kind of the front end of it so you slide it in you align these little um grooves or notches on the drum they align with the blaster and you just slide it in oh you see that you hear that that means it's loaded in locked and loaded ah! Okay, wait, this sound is pretty powerful. Let's try it one more time. Where's the dart? How do I rotate this around? Trying to see if you can rotate the drum freely to get like, I, we have this section loaded with darts. We don't have anything else loaded. Let's see if I can cock it back. Or you can kind of keep doing this. Okay, so you cock it back and you keep doing this. You can get your darts to where you want them to be. Okay, interesting. Let's try to fire one more time. Ah! I like the slick look of it. It is clean. It doesn't have too many like logos and stuff. You got the Tomcat at the back here. This stock also has a button here where you can expand it out, extend it out, press it. See how this feels against your body. Not bad. It, it is not too wobbly or anything like that. Let's make it a little bit shorter to see. Not bad. Pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy as you uh, cock it. 50 rounds. Okay, this is probably the most you can pop in onto a dart zone. Uh, let's see what this piece is. Oh, you can slide this out and off if you want to use it. God! Use more tactical rails up here if you need to. Quite interesting. Like I said, guys, overall, the slick, clean look of this blaster, I really, really like. That's two thumbs up from me right there. Um, and just the fact that it has 50 rounds, pretty good. Can it go slam fire? Slam fire? Oh, we got slam fire action. I like that BG. All right, let's test this out. All right, we're set up 15 feet away from the target over there, red cups. We're gonna see the performance of this thing indoors without wind or anything like that. So let's check it out. Here we go, BG, you ready? Yep. All right. Blank. Blank, bro. Interesting. Okay, so I have to aim a little bit higher based on the way that these sights are configured. I don't like that, but I was able to kind of uh, compensate and figure out how to get those shots in and uh, get the cups down. We just got the Tomcat in his hands. What do you think of it so far? Initial thoughts, bro? Really 
the grip is really good. I like it. All right, grip is really good. I like, it's dude. Really I re I really like the way this thing looks. It's clean. Oh, direct shot. That did not dip. That did not do anything. That was a straight shot right into the red cup, bro. Pretty good. Did you have to aim higher? On the sight, you had to aim like at least up here. So like a bit higher. Let me show it to you guys. Basically, what we're trying to say here, as you can see through the sight, if you aim straight from the for the cup, uh, come down here, Bridget. Come down here. It's not gonna hit it. Come down here. It's not gonna hit it. If you aim straight for the cup from 15 feet like this, you're gonna miss. Yeah, and then do what it. What you up. have to do is aim up like this. So you basically do yeah. not see the cup almost, and you're supposed to aim at like a blank thing above it. And you, then you'll hit you it. You technically have to aim at this white yeah. right Which here. Which is a little bit of a weird thing. Now, possibly because the barrel's a little bit lower. I don't know one way or another. This is how you get the perfect shot. All right, so BG said one interesting thing. What if we take out the sights? Maybe the indoors are closer distances. The sights are not necessary. Yeah. What if you remove both? When it doesn't have a sight, mm -hmm. it's so much harder to aim. All right, well, let's try it. Was that... Aiming straight at it? Yes. All right, I'm going to try to aim right through the tactical rail. See if that helps us. Straight at the cup. I'm telling you, bro, it's still hard. Okay, I was able to hit it, but not as accurate as with the sight. So we're going to pop those on for the outside. Let's go outside. All right, dudes, we're outside here. Uh, 20 feet diff distance. Let's see what we got. Same thing, had to aim a little bit higher. So you just gotta kind of figure out the aim of this thing, but pretty darn good. All right, we're backed up to 50 feet. I don't think we'll go further than that, but let's just see about the accuracy and see about the range if we can reach that. All right, here we go. At 50 feet, those things don't dip. They're still straight from what I can tell. All right, guys, you saw this thing fire inside and outside. Overall, the biggest thing for me is the looks. Clean, slick, 50 rounds. I love it. Uh, as far as accuracy goes, we had to compensate for some of these sights. I don't know if they're set up well. We try to adjust them, bring this closer, further. Same thing, you have to aim a little bit higher to hit those cups. Once you get your aim kind of locked in with this blaster after using it for a few days you'll get that locked in you'll get it right you got just gotta compensate you gotta aim a little bit higher and you'll be able to hit your dark target so overall just based on that because of that um in terms of accuracy i would probably give it somewhere between six and seven out of ten no batteries stock's pretty good it's not flimsy but overall man just the looks this is why i like this thing i like the slick clean look click like subscribe let me know your thoughts of this thing down below and we'll be re reviewing a lot more uh dark zone pros coming up we got a couple other boxes that we need to kind of show it to you guys so it's going to be exciting let's lock in bros and we'll see you in the next one later